or the bag charm. Like, what do I want to buy for myself? Okay, so let's just get right into it. So I did already do my skincare. Today I used the Tatcha facial treatment essence because I only have like a smidgen left. I think maybe like three to four uses and then I'll be done with it. And then for the serum after that, I used the Solwasu activating serum. I believe that Solwasu actually repackaged all of their items. Hopefully they didn't reformulate it, but this was a gift. So I'm trying to use it up as well. And then for moisturizer, I'm just trying to finish up the outset moisturizer. It's a very simple moisturizer. I feel like if your boyfriend Friend or your brother or your father is just looking for a plain moisturizer that has good ingredients good packaging but doesn't really help with acne or anything like that the outside one is a good moisturizer so i'm gonna put on some lip balm right now i'm using the m cosmetics i think it's called like clear quartz or something i have maybe three of these i love the applicator but i honestly feel like my lips have gotten used to it because every single time i use this it feels good for a second but maybe after 30 minutes or so i feel like my lips are drier already for sunscreen i'm using the rose ink sunscreen this was i believe a birthday present i have other sunscreens that have already made it into like my holy grail status but i'm still testing this out so we're gonna see how this wears i really don't like the applicator on this because one drop only comes out with this much so it's just ugh, it's pretty annoying so today's video we're gonna be doing a little chit chatty get ready with me but it's gonna be a this or that version Maggie edition. It's basically items that I'm trying to decide between. So hopefully you guys can help me pick if you guys own any of the items that I'm mentioning or if they're on your wish list too or if they used to be on your wish list and you found a reason of why it's no longer on your wish list that would be super super helpful starting next year I honestly want to start saving a little bit more money so and also I am going to Japan in May of next year so I want to save up money to shop in Japan instead even though right now I believe the exchange rate went a little bit higher but still I think the number one bag that I want for 2024 is definitely a larger hobo style bag So these are the three bags that I'm debating between I'm going to get one of these I mean, I would like to get two out of the three But I honestly don't feel like that's necessary right now because it would literally serve the same purpose The Bottega Veneta Jody bag in the teen size I think I mentioned in a video before that I couldn't decide between the teen or the small but I've gone to Bottega Veneta I think two to three more times and I'm pretty much set on the teen size I just feel like the small is just a little bit too big I mean maybe one day I'll add the small size but I think the teen would be good just for travel because you don't want it too big because you have to imagine too when you stuff it and for the Bottega one, I'm debating between either the black or the fondant color. I feel like the fondant, which is essentially a super dark chocolate brown color, is very, very close to black, but it's not black. And the reason why I'm debating between the fondant is because I do have a good amount of black bags and I actually don't have any dark, dark brown bags other than monogram which is a dark brown as well i used to really like the new sage color but after seeing a couple people have the new sage color and i don't know i feel like against i feel like looking at the new sage color i really really like it but against the body i don't feel like i could match it as much as i would like whereas i feel like if i got the jody and the fondant or the black i can actually wear that bag with everything so basically going along the same lines with like a zipper giant hobo bag it's gonna be two celine bags i feel like you guys knew that this was coming so the first celine bag is definitely the celine romi it's either the romi or the romi my celine essay told me before but i completely forgot and this one i actually don't know I originally, if I were to get the Romy, I would get it in their brown color, so they're just their regular tan. However, seeing Lisa use the Romy all the time as her new travel bag, so before she used to use the Boston bag all the time, and now she just uses the Romy, but I could tell from visuals that she uses the larger Romy size versus the small. So if I were to get it, I would get the medium size for sure. I think the large would just be too large for me for travel because I would like to use it to walk around, put water bottle stuff in, camera stuff in, and everything like that. The large would just be too big. So the price point between the Teen Jody, which is $3,500, and the Romy medium size, which is 
2950 so it's about a five to six hundred dollar price difference which to me is a big chunk of change that's another reason why i'm leaning towards the romi because it's a little bit cheaper but the quality of the leather is still the same like i've touched the romi in person and it's super soft and i love it and it's super pretty i love that they're both zippered and now the third contender into this is definitely the celine heloise bag lisa i've mentioned this before i'm sure she's promoting the bag so they gifted it to her but it basically has the cure triomphe right in the front of it so this one is almost the same price as the Bottega Jody. The Heloise bag is $3,450, so it's basically a $50 price difference from the Bottega Jody. See, what I like about the Bottega Jody is obviously the intrecciato leather. I feel like the Romi and the Bottega is very low key, whereas the Heloise is like a giant Triumph logo, but I do like that the logo is in leather as opposed to imagine if it was kind of like the YSL I care bag if it was just a giant metal triumph logo i wouldn't like it at all so i think if i got the heloise i would pick the tan color if i got the medium romi leaning towards the black and if i got the bottega veneta teen jody i would get the fondant so it's not like i'm choosing all black what do you guys think between the fondant for the bottega versus black i feel like black is just like so popular but i do have a good amount of black bags so i feel like fondant would be dark enough that it still would go with a lot of things but definitely i feel like black would go with more things but it would add variety i do like the heloise i would love to try it on though just because it looks size wise as big as the large romi but i love how all three of these bags are zippered so in this ranking i feel like the bottega veneta jody is like top tier it's just a uh, 3500 I mean, when you rank it against, for example, like a Chanel bag, $3,500 compared to a $7,000 bag, a steal, 50% off. But it's still, to me, anything more than $2,500 is a lot of money for a bag. Okay, so the next items that I'm debating between is from Fendi. And again, I think I've mentioned this on my Instagram story before. It is the Fendi Nano Baguette that I've been talking about for over a year, constantly. And so many of you guys are like, Maggie, you've been talking about it. You're still in love with it. Just get it. But this is the thing. I want the multicolored embroidered one, but the specifically the one that has the vintage Fendi stripes on the inside. The newer ones, they also have this newer like fall color desk where it's like dark red orange with tan, which I actually do like. The price point difference is is the one that I want I think is like $850 whereas the newer ones I believe are like $929.50 I honestly think it's because the inside of those ones are leather so there's more leather into it whereas the one that I like is obviously like fabric or canvas or something like that I'm going to be using the Suku the cream foundation apparently they just recently repackaged this and I think they reformulated it the reason why I bought this was because of Jenna Tatum well that's not her last name anymore but basically Channing Tatum's ex-wife the dancer and I love the original formula it basically feels like a thicker tinted moisturizer like when it says the cream it feels like a moisturizer like skincare and it just wears so well throughout the day it just has the nicest finish so the reason why i've been hesitating on getting the nano baguette charm is because realistically i know i don't need it and what i mean by i don't need it is that i already have a nano baguette charm you guys know i have the regular zuka print one which i love and adore but i love that this one is just a different version of it i honestly haven't used my nano baguette charm in probably maybe three months or so but I don't regret buying it. I love it and I think it's super, super cute. Also, if I haven't mentioned this, I'm attempting to do I'm cold makeup, but I don't know how that's gonna work. I've always avoided it because you guys know I have like scars on my chin. So when you do a lot of blush, I feel like it's just a lot of red, but we're still gonna give it a go. So going back to it, it's like, do I wanna spend, so it's 850, so with tax is essentially gonna be $950. So almost $1,000 worth on a bag that I technically have a repeat of and is it gonna be an everyday probably not because you guys know i'm in my bigger bad girl era but i do want it and i've been wanting it and i feel like i'll regret it if i don't buy it and it ends up being sold out like the denim nano baguette charm has been sold out so 
or on the other hand should i use the money that would go towards the nano baguette charm and get the fendi phone pouch because before they used to only have the satin ones but i think they've gotten so popular that now they have leather ones and they have this like fabric one but i actually really like the raffia one it's basically what is it called there's a word for it but it's basically small ff so i like that it's a mixture of raffia and you get that kind of like vintage fendi vibe and this one actually holds a phone so it's actually useful so to get something that's super cute that i love but is basically useless because it can only hold cards and lip balm not even like a road beauty lip balm because that's too long like a dior lipstick or use that money for the nano baguette charm and put it towards a phone pouch that could actually hold a phone and a road beauty lip treatment so what do you guys think in a really nice world and me being irresponsible i could get both because obviously they're different they serve different purposes but i don't need both so i'm really trying to rack my brain and then going on with the raffia in the middle of the price point is this Lueve basket bag which is i believe 790 dollars and i actually really like it because the inside of it has this basically pouch but it's attached to the bag if you guys know this about Lueve, they do sell pouches to put in their basket bags just to keep it more secure because Lueve basket bags are very open is that this bag is basically cheaper than the nano baguette charm okay so the next price point bracket that we're going to talk about is basically $500 to $650 and I noticed with the whole I'm cold trend they always just put a little bit of concealer right there so i'm gonna do the same thing but because i have scars i'm gonna cover a little bit more on my chin but not as much as i usually do so i'm gonna go a lot lighter so from the cheapest price point basically it's around 450 it's the louis bag charm for my hammock you guys know i've already customized an idea this isn't the final one but this is the one that i'm leaning towards definitely inspired by aoi ihara i love that they have like the big cube in the middle it's a bag charm and it's 450 dollars that's not even included tax but at the end of the day it's gonna be on my bag even though it's not practical it's kind of practical as decor because I know that I'll never take it off and you'll just see it all the time and I really really like it and I don't plan on getting another bag charm for my hammock or in that same price bracket the Dior five card gusset card holder and I've actually been wanting a five gusset card holder like the accordion style one just because I've actually really really liked it I've just been waiting for the right color and guys they came out with a green POD I think that's like the um, like the spanish vegetable or fruit it's kind of like a pepper or a tomato or something like that anyways they have this in the five gusset card holder and it is stunning 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 i love it they actually have a lady dior bag in iridescent version of this <gasps> i wish they made the iridescent version in the gusset because that would have just been an auto ad and you guys know me i love slgs i don't need a card holder i definitely do not need another card holder but i've been wanting a five gusset so i mean i could just pause the gusset and just wait because i'm sure there'll be another really pretty shade that would come out but i mean this peyote color is really really pretty so the louis de bag charm is around like 450 500 the gusset card holder is 530 and now the most expensive in this price bracket is again something that i don't need but i've been officially convinced and it is a louis vuitton packing cube but the mm size so not the pm one that everybody likes but i actually want the mm i really just want to use it as kind of a substitute for the nice minis because you guys know i've been wanting to add a louis vuitton nice anything a nice nano a nice mini or a nice bb but i've just been putting it off just because it's like a thousand dollars just to hold my makeup i can't it's like there's the devil and the angel on one side it's like you really want like a bag at least i take out into the world but my toiletries i will not take that out into the world i know some of you guys use the nice minis as a bag i just personally would never do that let me show you what i've been using to be like do i need it or can i just substitute it hold on i was cleaning one of my cabinets in the hallway and i found this duvet cover box set thing initially i thought about throwing it away but then i was like this looks exactly like the louis vuitton mm packing cube so this is it it's no joke a bedding cover okay and i've been using it to hold my makeup can you just see this it's a really messy right now but it, at one point it was organized but in terms of shape let me take the headbands out so in terms of shape it's actually extremely similar it has the zipper all the way around it basically it's my trial run of 
do I need the MM packing cube or can I just use this? And as I've been using this, no joke, I think I've been using this for at least three months. I actually really like it. I find it very useful. It's very nice. So in terms of functionality and not aesthetic, if I had to choose between the Louis Vuitton packing cube, like what I would get more bang for my buck, I guess you could say, versus the Fendi Nano Baguette Charm, I would actually use the Louis Vuitton packing cube more because I just love to store my makeup in this. Like it's just really nice because it's so big as opposed to just kind of a little pouch. I mean, little pouch just serve their own purpose but yes and this price point bracket because a card holder i feel like i could put it on pause but that peyote green color is so immaculate or the packing cube or the bag charm like what do i want to buy for myself as just a little christmas gift to myself i'm so horrible at multitasking let me just do my eye really really quickly and i'm using the pony morphe palette right over here actually let me powder my face that's like the one thing i forgot to do so i got this i used to collect these girl on meteorites let me show you this it's so holiday-esque so there's a little puffer but what's cute do you guys see there's like little stars this is pretty old i don't even want to tell you guys how old this is but i actually really really love i think out of all the meteorites i own this one is actually my favorite not just visuals but also like the finish now let me tell you about the four bags that i'm debating between i eventually in all honesty i want to add all four of these bags but we're trying to decide the order in which one should i get first i 1000 percent know that i'm not buying four bags next year that's just not happening other than the big slouchy one one of those i definitely want to add next year just for travel and stuff like that but in terms of just handbags the first one that i'm really debating between got convinced to me from watching Zendaya because she's been using this bag all the time she brought it to when she saw oh my gosh who was the artist I can't remember her name Victoria Monet was it Victoria Monet I believe she was in the sand and she had the Louis Vuitton Diane bag so that's the first bag I just hate that this one comes with that stupid guitar strap so this bag is $2,370 if they didn't sell it with the guitar strap easily I'm sure it'd be $2,000 no joke maybe even $2,100 which would have been better as well but nope they have to add that stupid guitar strap so that's a gripe that I have with Louis Vuitton but I love it I feel like I would use the Diane bag as much as I use my Ava if not more because it can actually hold more and I love that the belt loop is actually just aesthetic that it actually has a magnet behind it which I really really like and it looks wider too and then the drop length on the shoulder actually looks really really nice so we're gonna go up in price point so the second one out of the four is i think a bag that i'm gonna get in 2024 as well and it is the mini anjou i've been wanting the mini anjou for about five years but i've just been kind of putting it off i remember the first time i ever saw the mini anjou in person i thought it was so cute i thought it would be cheaper than the saint louis tote but to my dismay, I found out it was more expensive than the St. Louis tote because there's leather on the inside of the bag. So that's really, really unfortunate. But I have tried on this bag multiple times. I love it. I think it's super, super cute. It's expensive because it's reversible and it has the leather on the inside. I just wish they could make a mini Anjou without the leather on the inside and make it cheaper. Like that would be so nice. Basically a St. Louis tote, but a mini Anjou size. Like how awesome would that be? How awesome? I think for the mini Anjou, I'm leaning towards the red color or probably between the red or the green color is my top choices. But if I got a cap there, I would want it in green and I don't want Goyard bags in the same color. Like I would love the variety, but leaning towards red would probably be my number one choice. And then the third bag would definitely be the Pochette Matisse East West. Oh, I've tried on this bag so many times and I love it so much. It's just so expensive. And I know it's because it has the S lock and anything with the S lock makes it more expensive, but I really truly do love this bag. I love that there's a chain. I love that the strap is adjustable. So you have multiple straps that it actually can fit a good amount. And you guys know me, I'm in my shoulder bag girl era. And I just love it because I've never been a fan of the original Pochette Matisse. It just wasn't my vibe. And then it had all the defects in what, 2015 when it was at its peak. It had a lot of defects, but I love the East West. And every review that I've seen about the East West, everyone loves it and everyone recommends it. So mm, I really, really want it. So let me just tell you what I did on my eyes really quickly. So I actually don't have a white eye pencil, but the lightest thing I have is this Stilo Ye, basically this eye pencil from Chanel. And it's essentially this kind of 
iridescent beige color and then i use the m cosmetics moonrise it's basically kind of like a cream to powder iridescent shadow and then to line my eyes just for a natural depth i use this makeup forever eye pencil in the shade endless cacao it's essentially kind of like a taupey brown color just on my lid i didn't want to do a wing or anything like that and now for the most important is going to be the lips and blush so for lips i'm using this chanel kind of like lip and cheek tint it looks dark in the pan but it is a little bit lighter it's like a tint they have different shades of this maybe if i use their red one i mean not that i would buy it this is like 45 dollars oh, and there's so much left so the most important thing about i'm cold makeup is the blush so i'm using hot fire which is this red color so the last bag that you guys know uh, is the micro dejoy from dior i want this bag so badly and originally this was actually the number one bag that i wanted in 2024 and it just sucks that it used to be 3100 which is still expensive but you know doable for a dior bag and now it's 3400 dollars it got a price increase i believe maybe like five to six months ago it was no joke what a 10 percent price increase which is pretty crazy oh it's still so cute and i still want it so i can't decide i feel like recently everybody has been buying it too is what i notice a lot of people have been adding it into their collection rightfully so because it's so freaking cute so i'm leaning between the cloud blue but they actually do have an ethereal which is basically an iridescent peyote green which i think is so pretty and it would actually match my pink lotus too if they were just next to each other which i think would be really cute so with the i'm cold makeup you gotta go heavy on the blush so i mean i think this is as heavy as i as it gets but still. so there's that all i'm missing is basically kind of i think the thing that finishes it is when people wear the beanie with the little fluffy bobble i don't have a beanie with a fluffy bobble but i do have a lululemon one that has shearling on the inside to do the final aesthetic oh but i don't want to get foundation on my no absolutely not oh no 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 so this is my attempt at the i'm cold makeup trend i really feel like the lighting doesn't do it justice but in natural lighting i actually kind of like it i think it's cute i think i'm gonna add a little bit more sparkle on the inside i think i'm gonna use my fenty diamond balm i bought this ever since it launched i can actually tell that it's getting like a little meteor dent but i've used this a ton this will last me forever but yeah so the micro dejoy i really really want it and my phone actually does fit in the micro dejoy but i love that it comes with a tiny little chain and then it also comes with a longer strap as well which i think is really really cute i generally can't decide if i want to get a seasonal color in that or if i should just get their cloud blue which is part of their permanent line i remember when i tried the cloud blue in person i thought it was the prettiest thing i like that it's in a darker color so then i wouldn't have to be all anal oh is it getting dirty if i place it but yes so what do you guys think do you guys think i'm gonna get the micro dj bag first or the bottega jody i mean the bottega jody would be more practical but the micro dj is just so pretty and i don't want them to raise their prices i feel like dior is more likely to give me a price increase sooner than bottega veneta will so that's why i'm really debating on it but yes so this is my finished look i'm sorry this was kind of rambly and all over the place and i'm so sorry for the lighting it's just my room the placement of the windows does i just can't do anything honestly let me know down in the comments what you guys think it should be my number one priority bag for 2024 and i will actually do an updated luxury wish list for 2024 as well because these are just the items that i'm kind of back and forth between i don't know which one to prioritize as always if you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys